Have you guys ever heard of Cyberdemon531? This is a video request from uh, Daniel. Very cool name. But anyway, I, I don't know if you've heard of this person before. <laughs> I've only heard it in, in, in passing, but this is going to be apparently like, I'm guessing this is going to be them laughing or guffawing at Rush Limbaugh dying. Let's Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna come. All right, so. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's talk. Speaking of coming, and uh, unfortunately, Ew. I'm a little late. This happened right after I ended the show yesterday. <laughs> but uh, speaking of coming, right like everything is just—it's all hedonism, no matter what we're talking about. If we're talking about death, it's still coming. It's still like cum. Ash Limbaugh, conservative talk radio pioneer, dead at seventy. You'll love to see it. So let's read Fox News' article here. And then I, I want to play um, a <laughs> accompanying video. It's the dude. The, uh, it, hormone whatever the fucks. Uh, Theo. Yikes. Uh, that will hopefully. <laughs> All right. So let's read this. All right. So this is from Fox News. All right. Rush Limbaugh. The monumentally influential media icon who transformed talk radio and politics. God, the way this person talks is grating to my ears, man. Why? In his decades behind the microphone, helping shape <laughs> the Republican Party, died Wednesday morning at the age of 70. This motherfucker waited until I stopped the stream. Can you believe that? Yeah, El Rushbo, dude. Yeah, you, you, you offered so much less to the discourse than Snaggletooth Sally over here. I mean, what the fuck? Okay, yeah. Was Rush a boomer? Yes. Was he cringe at times? Yes. But he got people started on the... Sort of on the right path. I mean, here and there. Um, You know. But, I mean, it's not good enough for the likes of this organism... <laughs> right like as soon as i stop the stream i go on twitter right like two minutes ago rush limbaugh's dead. like what this motherfucker you couldn't have died like 10 minutes earlier come on man come Yikes. on man like seriously it's rude it's rude that's what it is at the end of the day it's rude unbelievable so limbaugh's wife Catherine, made the announcement on his radio show losing a loved one is really difficult even more so when that loved one dude th this new Twanny movement. It's just this, like unfunny, grating, like British. He, you know what I mean? How Brits for their comedy routines dress up as chicks. It's like that. It's like you know. It's like a nightmarish version of Monty Python or something. But it's larger than life. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. And again, I've got an accompanying video that will show that he is definitely large. So body shaming, you deserve to be canceled if you body shame someone, but not, you know. Oh, but wait, I'm pointing out that progressives are hypocrites. It's kind of a waste of time. The greatest of all time. I, I'm not so sure about that. The radio icon learned he had stage IV lung cancer in January four. 2020 and was awarded stage the presidential four. medal of right? freedom by then-President Trump at the State of the Union address days later. First Lady Melania Trump then presented America's highest civilian honor to Limbaugh in an emotional moment on the heels of his devastating cancer diagnosis. Oh, Rush Limbaugh. Oh, my God. Ah, look at this. Uh, uh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, uh, 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 revolting, dude. That is a fucking monster, dude. That... <laughs> That's a fucking <laughs> what the hell, man? Okay, I, I I should set up I should set up a fucking camera and show my face, but I don't know. Maybe I like to be a little bit more mysterious and not subject you. I mean, I'm definitely better looking than this person. That's for sure. Nah, he's dead. Rush Limbaugh, thank you for your decades. But I mean, if if, if you got an ugly mug like that, it's kind of like don't don't subject other people having to see your face the tireless devotion to our country president trump said during the address he told fox news on wednesday afternoon there weren't too many legends around but he is a legend ah well you know i mean i guess there aren't too many legends around given the fact uh that the guy is dead so it was not uh clear was that a joke or something no he's not around because like he's dead uh. exactly where limbaugh died 
interesting. He pre what what is the content here? It's just like reading and laughing and not, and like. Frequently brought. Well, why is, is this person going to elaborate on why it's overall a good thing that El Rushbo is fucking that Dittos are dead? I mean, I don't know. I remember as a kid reading uh, the way things ought to be by Rush Limbaugh, and I remember it being a lot more edgy than what he and the broader like conservative establishment are. But I think this was written like '89 or something like that. So yeah, you back then I think uh, in the Republican Party you could get away with a hell of a lot more, <laughs> and also in the Democratic Party as well. Podcast a show from the studio near his home beach in Palm Beach, Flat. Limbaugh is considered one of the most influential media figures in American history and has played a consequential role in conservative politics since the Rush Limbaugh show began in 1988, blah, blah, blah. All right, so, um, again, you might not know much about Rush Limbaugh, um, and if that's the case... Yeah, and let this disgusting alien creature inform you. Um, or you can listen to a guy like me, because like I said, I re when I was, like, what, 14... Uh, my parents were ditto heads, and uh, yeah, they had a copy of The Way Things Ought to Be, uh, you know, laying around, you know. And uh, I, I remember an actual chapter on criticizing multiculturalism. There's a, just a chapter entitled Multiculturalism. And uh, it was still kind of like conservative, like a little bit, but you definitely, again, like definitely saying things that were a lot more, con or that are a lot more controversial today, but were not back then. Eight. That's okay, because I've got about a 20-second video from a one Vic Berger on Twitter uh, that I think very summarily summarizes Rush Limbaugh's career. So let's, let's hear watch. it. <laughs> oh. oh, damn. <laughs> Whoa. Bye bye. There you go. Rip rush, everybody. Rip rush. Rush, everybody. This looks like someone who chomps foreskins off of infants and then sacrifices them to Moloch. Okay? That's what this person looks like. All right? This looks like someone who's trying to normalize the genital mutilation of little boys. That's what, I mean, that's what we're looking at here. That's what we're looking at right the fuck now. And they're guffawing about Rush dying because to them, you, white person, you dying, like this person said at the beginning of the video. Okay. Let me rewind. 336 is where we're at. Oh, I'm going to come. All right. So see? 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 Your death makes them come, dude. Okay? Your death makes them cum. Okay, do boomer white conservatives understand what's happening yet? This guy is dead. He's gone, folks. He is gone. Oh my god. I I just want to say. I just want to say. I love making fun of stupid people when they die. That is like one. I like when Trump goes. Oh, can you imagine? Okay, y'all, y'all, y'all. Like legit, legit. When Trump passes away, right? Wait, oop, 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 hold on. Let's see. Oh, right, when he passes away, I might do, like, a 12-hour stream. Like, I mean, like, like, ser like, I, like, now, I don't, like, Rush Limbaugh is, like, you know, he's a little bit, you know, more boomer territory, right? Yeah. But Donald Trump, when he goes, I'm going to be extremely excited. Um, and again, you know, in the words of our former president, who did present uh, him with the Medal of Freedom, or whatever. Only the really, I hate to say this, but those with the lowest IQ. <laughs> Love, to Whoa. Love to see it, folks. Love to see it. Rotten hell, scumbag. You're revolting. You, you were conjured from hell. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, let's see, what can we report this for? Uh, hateful or abusive content? Pfft, I agree. Bull no, bullying, dude. Pfft, forget about it. I mean, the whole goddamn thing is just, I mean... I, I don't know. Anyway.